Why on earth should I use your home? I am going to give you a presentation full of pictures just to try and make a point about the way we subliminally think and what goes through people's thought processes when they're choosing your business or your competitor's business. I just want you to just go through that. And on the time, depending, I'll try and make it interactive, but we will see how you fit and how you think about your business. So there I was, walking along the beach. Simon Cowell wasn't there, nor was Gary Lineker. Barbados. I was there in Barbados, next to the Sandy Lane Hotel, with their pink towels, and looking for the celebrities. They weren't there, but somebody I wasn't expecting came up to me, said, hi, you must be new, welcome to Barbados. I haven't seen you before. How long are you here for? I said, 10 days, fantastic. Let me give you a friendly word of warning. Even though it's five o'clock in the evening, the sun is still strong. I would hate you to ruin your holiday in the next 10 days because you've got sunburn on the first evening here. And one more thing, if you carry on walking along the beach underneath that palm tree, if you go there and your leaf falls on your skin, it will cause you bad blisters. And so I want you to enjoy your stay. He didn't try to sell us anything. Already in that first day, just like any beach in the world, we had been plagued by hawkers trying to sell us something, and he didn't try and sell us anything. Oh, this is very strange. See you around. It's great. Next day, he bumped into us again and said, Hi, did I warn you about those trees? I said, Yes, you did. That's great. I just hate to see you ruin your holiday. And one of our ladies said, What have you got in your bag there? What are you selling? <laughs> I don't sell anything, he says. People buy pineapples from me. So we burst out laughing. Great. This is really interesting. And what's your name? Original. Original. I am the original pineapple man. And if you go onto Facebook and you go onto YouTube, you will see the original pineapple man with his blue t-shirt, football shirt, and his raster hat. A real character. Hadn't tried to sell me anything. Next day we're walking along, sure enough, bumped into him. I said, original, how are you? Tell me, how much do these pineapples cost? He said, $200. $200? They made of gold. Hey, man, he says, they're not, a, they're not only golden, they're delicious, but they are an amazing experience. I'm a poet, and you will not believe the experience that you have in dealing with me. I felt I had met somebody who was going to clearly stand out from the crowd. And I thought, I'm going to be talking with you and I'm going to be talking about what can we learn about lessons in life? How can I share the lessons I've learned with this man? Because it's all about standing out from the crowd. What is so special about you? What's so special about your business and your team? And I love the previous talks and saying about leadership is all about you. It's exactly right. And I'll echo that if I can. Because you are as only as strong, however talented you are, you're only as strong as the weakest member of your team. So our challenge is to make sure our team understand their roles in what we do. It is so, so important. So what's so special about you? So what I want you to do is to join me in an eyesore review of your business. Now, a deliberate play on words, eyesore. E-Y-E-S-O-R-E, -E, perhaps. Or, as I've spelt it, S-A-W. If you think about what do people do when they choose your business, the first thing they do if they haven't heard about you, or even if they have heard about you, they'll go on the website. They'll go on the website, and one of the first things, one of the main reasons, 70% of people who visit websites go to find your telephone number. Yellow Pages is dead. So, is your telephone number clear there on the top right page of the page for people to see? Because if it's not, they haven't got any intention of spending any time looking any further, because the attention span people looking at websites is so short. But if you've got through that and you have actually got a website that is interesting, they might then phone you up. And what are they going to find? Who's going to answer it? Is it going to be you where you know what to say or is it going to be that miserable mackerel who's having a bad day? 
because we have all got miserable mackerels and we do not know who that miserable mackerel is going to be and it can be men just as much as women and I just think I look at some of the homes I phone up and I love phoning homes up at six o'clock because quite often the receptionist has gone to bed or whatever receptionists do at 5.30 but they've left and of course you might have a, be a change over time and nobody wants to answer that phone and it rings and it rings and gosh doesn't it give a good impression of your home now I might be the most prestigious person that you are ever going to have a relative of mine in your home you don't know who that person at the end of the phone is going to be it could be somebody who's going to have somebody related to me in your home for 10 years the lifetime value could be a million pounds and because you haven't answered the phone properly you've lost that person but let's say that hasn't happened and you've got through they say well come and see us because you haven't made that mistake of giving any prices over the phone because if you make that mistake of course I've got nothing to judge you on but price and so I'll, if that's all I'm making a mistake of judging you on that's what I'll do and I'll go to somebody who's cheaper so you can never give a price over the phone or if you do that magic word from from a hundred pounds or whatever as low as you want to do it but get them along to see you and what happens when they come in what do they first see people in care homes who do the eyesore test with me it's amazing because suddenly they're no longer working there they're coming in to put their mother their brother their father their uncle in and they suddenly notice the cigarette ends around the entrance the weeds in the car park the shabby paint on the windows the loose tile that's falling off and they're thinking gosh how does that reflect on their care because if they can't be bothered to do the simple things what can they bother about their care it's no connection at all of course and I know none of your homes because you're the enlightened people you come and to these sessions and you learn about it so it doesn't affect you but they come along and they get past and they come into your front door and what do they see is there a receptionist well on weekends the majority of homes just don't seem to have receptionists when's the busiest time for visitors evenings and weekends when do they not have receptionists evenings and weekends I don't understand it we're trying to actually get people to do our marketing for us and the easiest thing is to make sure that we've got people to be able to greet our visitors who are going to become our ambassadors and yet we do nothing about it so once we've got the uh, people in what's the message going to be given what's the most important room in the house so I'm coming in to visit you what's one of the most important rooms in the house if not the most important room that's going to help me judge the quality of your care the toilet thank you it's incredible what do your toilets look like clean clinical or welcoming nice smelling warm not full of wheelchairs and all sorts of other things that uh, can be chucked out of the corridor because I went into one the other day and I couldn't believe it in this day and age in the loo by the uh, front entrance a wheelchair stuffed in there because nobody's going to go in there was there nobody's going to go in and the impression it sets is just so bad and I just want you to think would you pass your own eyesore review 